Hello everyone, my name is Jennifer and I am Waitress. In today's video we're going to talk about what it means when someone orders a martini because oftentimes they don't even know. Uh, it's your job as a server to ask the correct amount of questions and the correct questions to find out what it is that they actually want to consume. Uh, back in days of yore when someone ordered a martini it would be uh, five parts gin to one part vermouth shaken with a garnish of a twist or an olive. But today, people can choose gin or vodka, and then there's just so many different variables. So you want to find out what it is that they want to drink. Uh, what is gin? Gin is distilled grains, and it's always flavored with juniper berries, and that's that really distinct smell that gin has, which I think is absolutely lovely. Most gin producers will also, uh, they are allowed to add different botanicals to that, and what would be fun, maybe, is if you went to work and asked for three different samples of three different gins and you will smell and taste three very, very different flavors. And it's really interesting. It's, it's really, it's really cool. It's really cool. So, um, some of the botanicals that are used are citrus peels and flowers and roots and licorice and coriander and almond and saffron and there's just a bajillion things. And every producer has their little recipe that they think is great. So you just have to find the one that's right for you if gin is your thing. Uh, vodka is distilled grains, malt, or potatoes. And vodka also has its very distinct uh, flavor. You can you can taste a bunch of different vodkas against each other and you'll taste all different uh, flavors. And it's, it's, again, really neat. And then the other component of martinis is vermouth. Uh, vermouth is an aromatic liquor and it's made from wine and it is you can get it dry or you can get it sweet and classically in a martini they use dry vermouth so when someone says I'd like a martini you need to ask vodka or gin and they will tell you uh, oftentimes they'll look at you blankly for a couple seconds because they don't know what the hell they just ordered that's just uh, what I have found. So vodka or gin they're gonna tell you and then you're gonna ask if they would like a specific vodka or gin and then from there you want to find out if they want that up or on the rocks. And what does that mean? Rocks, I'm sure you know, ice cubes. So that vodka or gin is poured over the ice cubes and it's served um, in that way. Up means that the vodka or gin has been chilled with ice cubes, strained and poured into a martini glass. And there's two different ways that you can chill that vodka or gin. And that is by adding the vodka or gin to ice and shaking it for uh, long enough to make it really nice and icy cold. Um, usually 10-15 seconds. Strain it, pour it. Stirred is same same thing, the vodka gin added to the, uh, the ice cubes and stirred with a spoon. It takes about 60 seconds of, of mixing that in order for it to be as cold as that 10-15 seconds of shaking was. Some people Great debate, say that shaking a martini um, bruises the martini. So that's never really been, um, you know, proven. Here's, here's what shaking it does do. First of all, it's a quick way to make it. It makes it just cold and, ah, I love it. I, I, I like shaking martinis. Um, but it also adds air because you're shaking it so hard there's little baby air bubbles that get trapped in, in the um, in the gin or vodka and that makes it cloudy er than if you stirred it uh, and they say that the air bubbles just the little small micro air bubbles kind of prevent the vodka or gin from hitting all of your taste buds uh, but then some people think that a shaken martini rounds it out and, and makes it just more essential of a drink. So really the choice is, is yours uh, as an orderer. I'm, I'm talking to an orderer right now, but just please don't maybe say stirred if you're just like trying to be cool because I think some people do that and they don't really, they don't really have a preference, but they just say words that they think are neat. And... Um, I think I've said words before that I thought were neat too. So, I mean, we're all guilty of it, but just maybe really know what you like. Okay. So, so anyway, as a as a server, you're going to find out if they want that up or on the rocks. And if they say up, really you're just going to ring it in as up and your bartender is going to do what they do, which is probably shake it. Uh, let's see what else to cover. 
Uh, just, I guess, some, some lingo. When someone orders a drink, it's not like you're the bartender, but you should know what they're talking about. So you found out if they want gin or vodka, you find out if they want it up or on the rocks, and you need to find out about garnishing. Do they want a twist, and it'll always be a lemon twist, or do they want um, an olive? And if they want olives, uh, there's lots of different stuffed olives, so you know where you work, what you offer. Classically, the stuffing is a pimento, and that's just a sweet pepper. Uh, but really popular is blue cheese olives and garlic and hot pepper, and there's just like a bajillion. It's, it's kind of it's cool right now to um, have a lot of different uh, olive stuffings varieties. So now, uh, when someone says that they want their martini dirty, all they mean is they want a little bit of olive juice added to that. So it makes it look dirty. It certainly clouds it up and it makes it taste more like olive juice. Uh, a, a, that's a very popular way to, to order a martini. And you can probably assume, you might want to ask, but you can probably assume if they want their martini dirty, they do want olives as their garnish. Uh, if they want their martini dry, they just want a little bit less vermouth used than what the classic recipe calls for. If they want it extra dry, they don't want any vermouth. And I have found from my experiences, and you can write a comment and bitch and say I'm wrong, but I think most, I think a lot of places are doing very little to no vermouth. So to say extra dry or even dry is just um, not really needed, but but it's, it's fine. It's also great. If someone says that they want a martini neat, what that means is neat means pour directly from the bottle into a glass. I really, really doubt that that's what they want, but they think they're ordering it up. So I would just clarify, do you really want your Plymouth gin straight from the bottle? You don't want it chilled or anything? And they're going to think that you're stupid for asking that dumb question, even though that's basically what they just ordered. So whatever. Um, rocks or ice cubes. If somebody orders a perfect martini, they are telling uh, the bartender that they would like dry and sweet vermouth used. So that five, six, seven parts, whatever whatever you use for vermouth um, would be divided, those five, six parts between sweet and dry vermouth. Uh, if they want it sweet, then they're asking for what? You know this, just sweet vermouth. And up, of course, is uh, chilled and strained and in a martini glass. Uh, two things. I found something out. That was interesting. The Department of Biochemistry in uh, Western Ontario in Canada did a study to find out what uh, martini preparation, either shaken or stirred, was the most healthy. And they found out that gin shaken had more antioxidants than any of the other um, preparations. So that should help you feel less guilty about drinking a crap ton of uh, gin <laughs> uh, gin martinis. Also, there was this one time I was waiting on this table and it was a group of guys and they were in their uh, mid to late 20s and I was taking a drink order and I said to one of the guys, what would you like to drink? And he said, I'll take a martini. And people just always think that, that, I, that I don't know actually what they think. So anyway, I asked them the questions, would you like vodka or gin? Uh, vodka. Do you have peach vodka? I do. I do have a uh, peach flavored vodka. Okay, uh, how would you like that? Up around the rocks. He wanted it up, and then he asked for it dirty. And I said, no, you can go to another bar, and maybe they'll honor that, but no, not here. And his friend called him an asshole, because he was, because he didn't know what he was doing. He just wanted to order a martini. He'd heard dirty in a movie and thought that it was badass to say it. With, But he also thought that peach vodka was badass, so... You can kind of see who I was dealing with that night. Uh, okay, so here's what I would love for you to do. I would love for you to go to IamWaitress.com and sign up for my newsletter because you get different information than, uh, than the website itself. And I'd also love if you went to I Am Waitress on Facebook and liked my page because that really makes me feel good. And if you want, you can contact me from my website, leave a comment, uh, ask a question, tell me something or not, whatever. I want to hear from you because you're awesome. Have a good night. Thanks for watching.